All right, it is now T minus 92 days until opening of our show. It is just after school and I am headed on my own dime of gas up to the bank so I can deposit a check that took me three weeks to get from our bookkeeper. And then I personally have to go shopping in order to get the... um, the concession stand supplies for the students to be able to sell to fundraise the $10,000 for a costume rental. They will be selling it hand to hand in little plastic bags. I have to monitor the money coming in and the supplies going out from my classroom during class time um, because so many of our students take the bus so I can't just collect it after school. There is a truck that feels the need to honk all up in my business and my recording. (laughs) Today I am, I had to set a meeting with our principal because of the bullying of my assistant principal to refuse (laughs) to conform to all other theater's practices and not want us, yes, okay, the truck is still flirting with me by honking because that's going to just make me totally creamy. So um, I get to meet with my principal and this assistant principal who's bullying me um, and making the theater teacher conform to all things rental. And this is a horrible angle for me. Good Lord. Where's, where's my makeup artist? And my makeup artist, <laughs> my DP. Then um, so that, you know, Uh, We're having to pay to use our own theater space, so the fundraising to get the funds to pay the security and to get the use of the theater after hours for all all of the days that all of that onus falls on me to raise the funds um, because there's no in-school funding in order for the theater department to be able to use the school auditorium. So we do snack sales and candy sales. Um, I have a parent meeting next week to arrange a spaghetti dinner, which hopefully (laughs) will be featuring Act 1 in performance. Speaking of Act 1, we put the cast list up yesterday, or actually I zapped it to Facebook last night because it is 2013, and that prompted, you know, the, the what happens after the cast list goes up. The excited uh, phone calls, the uh, bitching text messages, the tears at the front of the school where we posted it on the door of the, um, of the chorus room, and everything that comes with it. So I know we'll be having some conversations and some come to Jesus's tomorrow uh, at our cast read-through because the cast read-through is necessary. Our cast is not reading the script. I actually had someone come to callbacks wanting to audition for uh, for, for Abu, the monkey. That does not exist in the script version. So, (laughs) oh, teenagers. And you can't expect them to be professionals. You can pull your hair out and tell them just how beneficial it will be for them to read the script, but you cannot make their eyeballs go left and right. So, dealing with that... Uh, We did have someone answer my plea on Craigslist. I put an ad on Craigslist begging for an Uncle Bob or a Cousin Pete or a Grandpa to, oh boy, to adopt us. If I put it out there like if you are a Sunday garage type carpenter guy that does projects, please adopt our scene shop you can build stuff in there in between building stuff for our stage and I got like click and clack from NPR they are adorable old retired men and the bonus is one of them is Monty is a tutor in the school system so he's already fingerprint cleared and can get right to work you know you have to be fingerprinted to work with the students um, which can be a two to three week process And his brother, who is a snowbird, owns a production company, or used to, is now into all things green and lives in Colorado Springs and everything that comes with that. Um, 
He has two daughters who both went to the Dallas School of the Arts, which is second only to the Fame School in New York. <laughs> Whatever. One of them um, is now a lighting designer. The other is a costume designer. Let's hope this partnership really works out because that would be beast. Now, if only I can get into my scene shop, all will be well.